Hi, I'm Matt. I'm going to show you how swords are made and what the different parts of swords are. And I'm going to show you using these replica modern medieval long swords. Now these are the type of swords that would have been used in the 1300s or the 1400s, also a little bit during the 1500s in the early part. So, the blade without any of its parts on it looks like you might expect. But the interesting part of the blade is this part down here. This is the tang, and it is the same piece of metal as the rest of the blade, which is very important to make sure that this thing has its solid structure to it. This is an assembled version of that, put together with a blunt blade on it that you can use for fencing. As you can see, it looks very similar. And the difference is that you can take, this is called the cross piece, this is the grip, and this is the pommel. And what they do is they take the cross piece, which has a slot cut into it, you slide it down over the tang, down to here, it stops right here at the shoulder, then you slide the grip on, then the pommel goes on. And on this one, since it's a modern one that's designed to be taken apart so I can swap the blades out if I want to, it's sealed up with a, uh, a little nut right here that has a hex, an Allen wrench socket there. So I can unscrew that, take it apart, and if I feel like using the same setup, but with a sharp blade, I can do that. This is also a modern replica, but this one does not come apart. This one's built more like a real one would have been built. You have your blade, you still have a tang inside this grip. It's put together in the same way, except instead of that little screw nut thing on the end, what they do when they make one for real is part of the tang pokes out about that far and they heat it up really, really hot to where it gets really soft and then they'll put it in a vise and hammer it down while it's soft and you can see how it sort of smooths out the metal and smooshes it down around the bottom of the pommel here and holds the whole thing together. This is called peening. Another thing you might notice about this sword compared to these other ones is that the uh, angle of the cross piece is different. This one is from a later time period than something like this would have been. This would have been much earlier. And they just, you know, they changed the designs over time. Um, not only for looks, but also for some practical purposes. When you're fighting with a sword like this and you end up getting into, like, blade binds like this, if this cross piece is turned a little bit, you can bind up a little bit better and control the other person's blade. And this ring is just a simple little thing that they added to stop the blade from hitting your hand if they do get past the cross guard. So that's it. All these things apply to a lot of later swords too, not just medieval swords. Thank you for watching.